just accept the money, okay? Kylie's paid off her debt. She's back in the deal like we planned. How could you do this to me? Do what? I thought for once Lara and I could do something without worrying about you messing it up, but oh no, as usual, you had to muscle on in, didn't you? You ruined everything. Do you think I've got what it takes to stand in for Rachel? Is Chris's other half? Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> oh, see ya. You've done it before, you can do it again. Why, do you think Rachel should have picked you instead of Seth? No, it's not that, it's just... What? <sighs> Tell me. Well, this afternoon, Lana brought me a schedule of meetings. She thought I had the job. She heard Chris and Rachel talking about me. So how come Seth got the job? Well, he told me I was never in the running, that Rachel doesn't trust me anymore because I won't lobby for her on the advisory board. No. Doesn't sound like Rachel. Yeah, that's what I thought, and I would have gone straight to her, but Seth asked me not to. So, what, you think he's game plan? No, he can't be. I mean, why would he want to come between me and Rachel? What would be the point? Well, why did you ask him? I can't. He's a friend. He's been really supportive. So you trust him? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm sure it's Lana who got it wrong. She probably heard my name and then missed the bit where Rachel said she was still mad with me. Yeah. And if she is, she'll get over it. Yeah, eventually. And it's not like you haven't got enough to do with the board, Tilly. And my health. Yeah, I know. I just thought one day I might do an OK job behind that desk. Make some real changes around here. Mm, damn straight. <laughs> oh, well, not this time. It's only a two week stint anyway. Seth will be great. I don't know what Emma's problem is. I only bought a couple of cushions. She didn't know you were back in on the house deal. I should have found a way to tell her. Well, you did at the bar. It's not like my name wasn't on the bank application and the house offer. Yeah, but she thought things had changed. I can understand why she went off. Sounds like you're on her side now. At last, some company. Who's going to help you with this? Not me. We had a drink earlier. I'm supposed to be celebrating. What a joke. Celebrating what? I can't believe we even told you. This patient of Kylie's, Mr Crowley, he died. Last week. Yeah, what about him? We bought his house. His and his wife's, Rosa. You and Kylie? And Emma. We went unconditional this afternoon. No way! I didn't even know you were thinking about this. We weren't. It just came up. Oh, a house? I know. Where? Local, Thorncliffe Road. That's unbelievable! Congratulations! Oh, I feel so left behind. Oh, don't <laughs> say that. I'm starting to think it's all a big mistake. Why? What's happened? We had a fight, a three-way. Mm. About who gets the master bedroom? About money. Emma thinks Kylie's hopeless with her finances. Well, she is, isn't she? Pretty much. Her credit rating was stuffed. But she's still got a mortgage. I felt sorry for her, so I lent her some money to cover what she owed. Whoa. You lent Kylie money to get her out of debt? Well, I sold some of my stuff. No. I had to anyway to pay the extras on the house, and I thought, why not help Kylie out? It'll be easier with three. Well, it will be. You'll be fine. You reckon? Well, you'll have to be, won't you? You've done it now. What's going on here? Hey, they took the moon boot off. Yeah. Feels good, too. I bet. What's with the cleaning? Mum's coming home. And? I just want the place to look tidy for her. Why? Because she's going straight back to work while Bella and Jazz are north sunning themselves. I just thought it was the least I could do. And you guys will want a decent catch up, so I'll head out later. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, you won't. Yeah, about that. Oh, I knew it. What do you want? I was kind of hoping you might forget to tell Mum the whole Evan had a party story. Even. What? Look, you know what she's like with underage drinking. She'll kill me. I am not lying to her about anything ever again. Well, don't lie. Just don't say anything. I am telling her. And you're right. She's not going to take it well. But you'll just have to man up and deal with it. You mean we will? Hey? Eh? Think it through, Dad. When Mum finds out that I had an unsupervised house party, what do you think her first question is going to be? You wanted to see me? Yes, Brooke. Take a seat. I understand Boyd has asked you to work as a patient liaison for his TAVI surgeries. 
That's right. Why, is there a problem? I thought you might be unsure whether you had my support or not. I wanted to make it clear that you do. Oh, great. Because I I'm really going to make a go of it. You'll move fast, I hope. Show me results in the next two weeks. Well, I'll do my best. There's a lot of competition for the US market. Oh, you're confining yourself to that, are you? That was the brief Rachel gave me. What about the Asian market? They offer the procedure in the Philippines. Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand. But the demand is great. So if we priced it right, I think we'd do well. I've been thinking the same thing, but... What? Rachel specifically told me to keep the marketing low-key and confined to the US. So as to not draw the attention of the advisory board? The funding is for public services, not private. Well, that's not an issue anymore. The board has more or less made its decision. Oh, and we've missed out. Suffice to say, it's better for Shortland Street to play to its strengths from here on. I want you to make the Asian market your top priority. Shouldn't I email Rachel first and let her know? I'm in charge now. And I'm offering you a managerial assignment. But if you're not up to it... No, I am. Absolutely. It'll mean less contact with patients. Not a problem. Good. I look forward to working with you, Brooke. Where's Kylie? She left before me. She obviously didn't want to lift in. You have to sort this out. You're buying a house together. You don't have to tell me. Hey, Vinny, you hear the big news? Well, I've been trying to get a date for the housewarming. Yeah, well, there isn't going to be one. Don't be like that, Em. We can't carry on like this, not speaking to each other. I mean, you should have thought about that before you went behind my back. I didn't. I tried to tell you about Kylie. Yeah, well, you didn't try hard enough. You didn't give me a say. OK, thanks, Rosa. Bye, then. Rosa's putting all her stuff into storage and flying to the Gold Coast this morning. Wow, she moves fast. Yep, that's how come we own a house. It's all go, go, go. With her, no time to think. She said we can shift in any time. We don't even have to wait for the settlement. Is that even legal? No, I'm not rushing to move in. No way. You see what she's like? She doesn't even give us a chance. I don't know how you can defend her. I'm not defending her. I'm not defending anyone. I just want us all to get along. I give up. I've heard house buying is stressful, but this is ridiculous. It's time to make their heads together, you reckon? If I thought it would work... Now, first up, Mr. Webster, before you say anything, I'm glad you stepped in. Your diagnosis was spot on. I didn't embarrass you? For a minute, maybe. But then I realised that you're a better clinician than me. Simple as that. Well, I've just had more experience, that's all. Ah, if those case files are for me, you'd better talk to Seth. He's got me busy on a new initiative. The same one you were researching for Rachel? That's a no-go. This is about expanding surgical tourism, the TAVI side of things. Well, Rachel's doing that now. It was Seth's idea, actually. And why not, if we're out of the running for the expansion funding? Uh, who said we are? Seth. He told me the board's already made its decision, they just haven't announced it yet. No, that's not true. I'm on that board. I think I would know. Well, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying what Seth told me. We want to talk to you about the house. I suppose Emma's been fuming to you all night. Kylie's so hopeless. Lana's such an idiot for lending her the money and this whole thing's a disaster. Oh, she did have a little rant. Well, but, but, but we're not taking sides. We want to help you sort this thing out. How? Emma's ridden me off as an irresponsible child and Lana's defending her. She thinks I should be able to see Emma's point of view. I mean, can you even believe that? Um, you're not exactly brilliant with money. I've changed. Haven't I? I told you, this house means more to me than anything. Yeah, well, you told me. Maybe you need to show them. Lana and Emma? H how? Well, you're on a four-hour shift today, right? Yeah, I finish at 12. Well, he's got a plan. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. You want to hear it? Tell me. Here we are. Home sweet home. Wow, look at this place. It's immaculate. You didn't go mad and pay a cleaner, did you? Uh, it's all Evan's handiwork. You cleaned? Yeah, we have a room except my own. Oh, well, what did I do to deserve this? I just didn't want you picking up after us. You shouldn't have to. Sweetheart. How was the ash scattering? Sad. 
but perfect. Capriyanga is so beautiful. The place of the leaping. It really suits it. And how have you guys been? All that business with Zach Smith, what a shock. I know. I mean, I always thought the guy was a creep, but not that bad. He really took you in, didn't he, hun? But you've always been willing to trust people. It's one of your best qualities. I still feel like a chump. And how have you been? School OK? Yeah, good. Anything exciting to report? Nothing. I mean, I keep hoping. I'll catch you later. You're going already? Yeah, well, you two need to catch up, so you deserve to have the house to yourselves for a change. We'll promise you'll be home for dinner. Sure. But don't worry about cooking, because Dad and I will handle it. You just relax. <laughs> He's being so considerate. What happened to him while I was away? Why did you tell Brooke that Shortland Street was out of the running for expansion funding? I didn't quite put it like that. Uh, certainly, I may have implied Why? That. When it's not true, we're still negotiating. <laughs> it's obvious to me that the hospital's future lies in the private sector. No, not if we get the funding. But what chance will we have if news gets out that we're chasing surgical tourists? There you go, using the word we. Which only proves to me that you're not seeing things objectively. Oh, don't give me that. You know that Rachel wants to keep an emphasis on public services. That was never her plan. Her plan was to expand surgical tourism. I don't have to tell you what made her press the stop button. Are you sure she's still upset with me about all that? It's not the impression I got. Well, she appointed me her replacement, not you. Take that as you will. Meanwhile, I intend to do all I can to secure an income for this hospital into the future. I just don't see how you can be so sure that we won't get the public money. I know this world better than you, Sarah. I can read between the lines. I still think you should hold Brooke off until the decision is made. Your opinion is noted. And I will consider it carefully, as I always do. Now, I'm late for a meeting. Let's talk again soon. It was delicious, thank you. My pleasure. Hey, can you hear that? I can't hear anything. Exactly. No kids. <laughs> it's eerie, isn't it? Just think. We could do anything we wanted right now. So what's it going to be then? Well, come on. If you could do anything right now, what would it be? Yeah, we've got the whole afternoon to ourselves. Anything? Yeah. What were you thinking? We could always clear the junk out of those cupboards in the hall. We've been meaning to do that for ages. We have, too. What a great idea. Remind me again why we're doing this. Because your backyard is a tip. Nothing says I'm a good co-homeowner, like a bit of DIY. Probably helps me know what you're doing. What? I am a pro. All right, did you see the way I picked up that trailer? Yeah, it's school right there. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be showing off to Emma? Oh, well, yeah, but at the end of the day, Emma's who we're trying to impress, right? I suppose. Not that I should have to. Hey. OK, yes, I want to prove that I'm committed to this place. I so am. I love it. Are you sure you're ready for this? Uh, so I am. Uh, don't just stand there. Let's get to it. Oh, I've forgotten about these. Look what I found at old home videos. That's right. You had that giant camcorder. You used to take it everywhere. I'm surprised it didn't give me back trouble. The Coromandel trip. Bella's eighth birthday. Oh, Evan's first bike. <laughs> Do you think they still work? Oh, don't see why not. Got the old VCR right here. Shall we? <laughs> Afternoon. Chris, is Rachel still in the country? She's taxiing the runway as we speak. Damn it. Problem. Are you aware that Brooke is actively seeking surgical tourists from Asia? I thought Rachel had reined that in. Not anymore. Seth has given it the green light. Well, why would he do that? He knows how that's going to look to the funding board. I'm really sorry. I have to ask. The interim CEO position. Was Rachel going to offer that to me? 
Initially, yes. But she changed her mind. Any idea why? Well, out of concern for you. Seth spoke as a friend and said he was worried about your health and your stress levels. He said that? Rachel didn't want to put any extra pressure on you, so... So Seth grabs the job and then he does this. It's like he's, he's deliberately trying to wreck our chances. Well, I'll ring around, see what the word is on Seth. Someone will know something. He lied to me, Chris. I need to find out why, so dig deep, OK? Oh, Evan can't even reach the pedals on that bike. Oh, he grew into it eventually. Wake, who is that gorgeous thing? Fast forward, please. Oh, it's slow motion, more like. Look at your hair. Why did you let me get that spiral perm? I liked it. We've had some good times, haven't we? Oh, we sure have. Yeah. It's going to take forever. Oh, it's the beauty of DIY. It's never finished. It just keeps going and going. I'm scared you'd say that. But why don't you tell me? You know, it is your place. You happy with the way it looks? I bet we're done. Yeah, it's OK. Well, what do you think Emma and Lana would say? Eh? Does it look fresh? Uh, watered, cared for? It is a bit dry, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I did see a hose somewhere. I'm planting next. Hey, now you're talking like a homeowner. Right. Let's see how this works. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. That's oh. it. Huh? It's on. What? Come on. <laughs> Drive somewhere. It'll take your mind off things. I doubt that very much. Oh, well, come on. A stroll in the great outdoors. How many chances do we get? Okay, let's go. Emma, do you want to join us? No, thanks. You can't avoid Lana forever, you know. I'm not avoiding anyone. This isn't my fault. It's no one's fault. We're all meant to be friends. Exactly. That's why you bought a house together. How much is at stake now? Half a million. You so need to sort this out. I'm happy to try. Emma, this might be the first time things have got messy over money, but it won't be the last. So get in the car, talk to each other. What about Kylie? Oh, never mind her. We'll start with you two. Emma? Hey. Are they? All our old videos, sir. I hooked up the VCR. Your mum and I had a little screening. Oh, that's awesome. We saw some pretty funny videos of you today, Ev. Oh, yeah? And while we're in viewing mode, do you have any footage of the party you had while I was away? Sorry, mate. It was a tell-all situation. <clears throat> I don't suppose sorry will really cut it. Nothing to do with me. Your dad said he dealt with it. Hey. Eh? And whatever he says is good enough for me. About dinner, I won't be here after all. I said I'll fill in at work so you two can, you know, do whatever. Sounds inviting. What do you think, Murray? <laughs> mm. Just got off the phone with a buddy of mine at St Catherine's. Oh, yes. As it turns out, St Catherine's are having serious management issues. The board and the CEO are at loggerheads. About what? Well, he wouldn't say. But if it carries on, their hopes of winning the expansion funding are knackered. So, Shortland Street's still in with a chance? A fighting one, I'd say. Unfortunately, I can't see how any of this relates to Seth and his carry-on of his surgical tourism. He didn't come up in conversation at all? Oh, I tried, but nothing. Sorry. No, no. It's all part of the puzzle. Thanks, Chris. Why have you brought us here? All will be revealed. Lumi ladies. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I know what this is about. And why Vinny's here? That's his car. Okay, spoil the surprise then. Kylie and Vinny are cleaning up the backyard. Why? To prove to you that Kylie's committed to this house. They've been working all afternoon. Really? There's a big difference between tidying a backyard and meeting mortgage repayments. 
You don't think Kylie's ready for that? She's not. And you think we are? This is such a massive decision. I've had butterflies all week. Yeah, it's different with Kyle's. How can you say that when you haven't even given her a chance? All she wants is to be in this with her two best friends in the world. That's why she's here, busting a gut. Em? I guess we can talk to her about it. <laughs> yeah! I'll get you for this! Oh, for your work, baby! Oh. Vinny! Hey! Hey! Having uh, a nice work break? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, we are. What do you think? Clear the rubbish, pull the weeds, done something. Are you short? doing this to me on purpose, Kylie? Is it some kind of payback? What? No! Well, first you scheme your way back into the house deal, and now you're moving in on my boyfriend. I know! No, you were just messing around. Oh, I know what you were doing. Emma, hey! Well, that was successful. <sighs> Worst timing ever. Don't play dumb, Kylie. You knew we were coming here, you just didn't care. Have I got this right? You want me to roster a fully private surgical list? Correct. So how am I meant to meet my public list commitments? I'll be relieving you of those for a while. The current wait time on private surgeries is unacceptable. Please. We're finished here. I'd like to see that roster as soon as it's ready. Okay. So you're blatantly pulling back on public services now? I have my reasons. Yeah, so you can rubbish our chances with the advisory board. Same reason you talked your way into acting CEO. <laughs> You've been doing your homework. Yeah, and I haven't even got to St Catherine's yet. You've heard they're having difficulties. Mm -hmm. And I am sure that your actions here are related somehow. I've just fired their CEO. If they want a shot at the expansion funding, they need a strong new leader. Fast. I've been asked to apply. So you take the job and then you make sure St Katz gets the funding. That is so That's for the great. greater good. It's cheating and it's ugly. You've been lying to me. I've been thinking of you the whole time. Oh, I've been such a fool. The new St Katz will be a state-of-the-art medical facility with far-reaching influence. I'm going to need a 2IC with real vision. Not me. You can't... You said you wanted to change things, Sarah. This is how changes are made. By taking politically astute action. By betraying my friends, you mean? It's time to find out what you're made of. Do you want to sit around here and watch this place go private? Or join me and get your hands on some real power? Because that's your choice. Right now. 